Good afternoon, everyone. So I am the next reporter, Kaborne Rovlin, with a topic of teaching activities, aids, and supporting materials. According to Scowell 1986, the teacher's fundamental task is to get students to engage in learning activities that are likely to result in achieving the intended learning outcomes. It is helpful to remember that what the student does is actually more important than what the teacher does. Yes, as a teacher, we should know that as well. So here are some teaching activities that will enhance the learner's capability to think critically, also to enhance their skills in different aspects. First is debate. Debate is a verbal activity in which two or more differing viewpoints on a subject are presented and argued. Debate enhances students' conceptual understandings and refines their reasoning abilities. Each group will make a stance about a certain topic and must defend the opposite side of their personal opinion. Next is game, like interview or role play. So each member of the class take the part of perspective of historical figures, authors, or other characters and must interact from their perspective. Next is think, pair, share. So this type of activity first ask the students to consider a question on their own and then provides an opportunity for students to discuss it in pairs and finally together with the whole class. So this um, activity works ideally with questions to, to encourage deeper thinking, problem solving, and or critical analysis of the students in a way that your students will be engaged and communicate not only to their partner but also to the whole class. Next is writing, peer review writing task. This is to assess students with a writing assignment, encourage them to exchange drafts with a partner. This activity gives the students the opportunity to organize their own thoughts and let the partner read the essay and write a quick response. So each of them can learn a lot from each other and themselves as well. Next, brainstorming. Pose a problem or questions or introduce a new topic to begin the session. Brainstorming is a great way to get students thinking and making connections between the new knowledge and what they are already aware of. So it can help students learn to work together and learn from each other. Next is peer instruction. Peer instruction may offer some of the richest opportunities for metacognitive teaching. It enables the students to evaluate their understanding of the instructor's explanations. The next one is concept map. The learners can use concept maps to discover connections between what they already know with the new insight they've gained. So concept maps provide a great way to understand the new concept in detail. The last one is role play. Role play may be done as a whole class or in small groups to enable students to gain insight into diverse situations and perspective. Now let's go on to teaching aids. Teaching aids are the various devices which can help the foreign language teacher in presenting linguistic material to his students and fixing it in their memory, in testing their knowledge of new vocabulary, grammar items, their habits and skills in using. Teaching aids may be grouped into two, the non-mechanical aids and mechanical aids. Let's talk about non-mechanical aids. Non-mechanical aids is a traditional way of teaching. Under the non-mechanical aids are the following. First, a blackboard. Blackboard is the oldest aid in the classroom, which is commonly used for teachers in writing. Second is the flannel board, a board with covered with flannel or other soft fabric for sticking pictures on its surface. It is used for creating vivid situations which would stimulate pupils' oral language. And the last one is the magnet board, a board 
which has the properties of a magnet. It can attract special cards with letters, words, phrases, or pictures on it. Magnet board is the same purpose as the flannel board. Now let's proceed to the mechanical aids. Mechanical aids are commonly called as technical aids. Under this are the following. First, tape recorders. A tape recorder is considered to be the most important aid in teaching and learning a foreign language because it allows the pupils to play back the tape, listening the speaker's voice and record his her own voice. The next one is record player. Record player is an indispensable supplement to contemporary textbooks and other teaching materials as they are designed to be used with the long playing records which accompany them. The next one is projector. Projector is commonly used for projection of illustrations and photographs. Next is film strip projector. Film strip projector can be used in a partially darkened room. Next, overhead projector. It is used for projection of a table, a scheme, a chart, a plan. The next one is television. Television would make it possible to demonstrate the language in increasingly varied everyday situation. It is commonly used nowadays. And the last one is language laboratory. So this is a special classroom designed for language learning. Now let's proceed to the teaching materials. Teaching materials or the supporting materials are the materials which the teacher can use to help students learn a foreign language through visual or audio perceptions. So these materials will help greatly to reinforce the student's initial desire to learn the language and to sustain their enthusiasm throughout the course. So we have non-technical or traditional materials. And supporting materials like objects, pictures, toys, flashcards, sentence card, wall charts, grids, maps, models, and many more. And we also have the mechanical or technical materials for visual like slides, transparent slides, application materials, schemes, and etc. And for the audiovisual, we have sound film loops sound films, television programs, video fragments, and etc. So I think that's all for my part. Thank you for listening and God bless.